Hello there everyone, this is 5 Minutes Medicine, and today we will talk about myasthenia gravis, which literally means Graves muscle weakness, and can be understood as an autoimmune neuromuscular junction disorder which causes weakness and wasting of skeletal muscles. So let's see the normal neuromuscular junction physiology at onset of depolarization. So when the depolarization occurs, calcium along with sodium enters the cell. This calcium helps in attachment of synaptic vesicle containing neurotransmitters to the presynaptic membrane. The neurotransmitter is then released into synapse and then it gets attached to the neuromuscular receptor at postsynaptic end. Since we said a neurotransmitter of interest is acetylcholine, we should understand the concept of acetylcholinesterase enzyme as well, which acts as a molecular scissor that helps in breaking down and reuptaking of acetylcholine and prevents its overattachment. In myasthenia gravis, due to conditions like thymus gland abnormalities and previous infections, certain special types of antibodies are formed which attaches to acetylcholine receptor sites, which leads to the conditions like less attachment of acetylcholine molecule, reduced sensitization of tissue, and reduced activation of muscular tissue, all of which leads to muscle weakness, muscle wasting, and generalized fatigue. Myasthenia gravis is mostly associated with autoimmune diseases such as thymus gland tumor, etc., a very peculiar bimodal age distribution is seen where females around the age of 40 are affected, whereas males above the age of 60 become victims of myasthenia gravis. Some other rare types of this disease include postpartum and inherited myasthenia gravis. Presentation of myasthenia gravis includes Weakness with repetitive movements like chopping, chewing, and the classical weakness at the end of the day, and generalized weakness which is presented early by smaller facial and ocular muscles causing double vision, grouping of eyelids, etc. One of the most feared complications of myasthenia gravis is the condition known as myasthenia crisis, which is a life threatening condition and is caused by excessive weakness and sometimes paralysis of diaphragm and intercostal muscles which leads to reduced gases exchange and can lead to respiratory failure and in severe condition can even cause death if it's not treated properly. Diagnosis of myasthenia gravis is primarily based on symptomatic analysis and physical examination. Acetylcholine receptor antibody analysis and electromyograms are most commonly used for conformational diagnosis. In adrophonium test, we inject adrophonium chemical and analyze if the symptoms improve. If they do, it proves that the patient suffers from myasthenia gravis. Other tests include CT of thymus gland, etc. Treatment of myasthenia gravis is based on improving symptoms. So medications like phytostigmine, which increases the action period of acetylcholine and steroids are used. IV immunoglobulins and plasmapheresis are used to reduce antibody production. And nowadays, some artificial antibodies are used too. Surgical interventions like thymectomy are used with patients suffering from hyperactive thymus. So that's it for a quick recap on Myasthenia Gravis. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please help the channel to grow by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Thank you and see you until next time.